don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on, YouTube? It is the Big K Cops 360 here. And I pretty much came back from probably one of the best times I'm going to have in my life. I just got back from schoolies. Uh, if you're in Australia and you finish year 12, trust me, go to the Gold Coast for schoolies in week one because it is the best. You will have the time of your life. I miss it. But anyway, that's where I was. I was gone for a week. I couldn't do anything. No one follows me on Twitter, so there's no point up. Uh, you know, posting anything there because he's gonna give a shit. But anyway, look, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have a whinge. Let's get into it. So, guys, pretty much, Nvidia is planning on cutting the prices on their entire GTX 900 series of GPUs from the 980 Ti all the way down to the 950. So, pretty much, they're cutting down the 980 Ti from 649 RRP to 589. They're cutting the 980 from 499 to 439. The 970 from 329 to 289, the 960 from 199 to 179, and the 950 from $159 to $139. Now, of course, as you guys can see, the 980 Ti and the 980 have the most significant price drops. They are, of course, the most expensive cards. So, of course, you know, mathematically by scale, they should have like bigger drops, like in comparison to say the 950, which is already uh, relatively cheap. But look, Getting to the point, what does this indicate? This, of course, indicates that Pascal is coming soon. We will be seeing Pascal. It's going to drop. It's going to launch. I don't know if Nvidia is going to call it the 1000 series of GPUs or if they're going to do something else. It's going to be kind of awkward saying like the 1070, 1080, 1060. I don't know. That's just what I think. But if they do, it really doesn't matter. Who really gives a shit? I mean, fucking AMD. These guys um, look the worst when it comes to fucking naming GPUs. But anyway, continuing... um. Uh, it should be good. I mean, Pascal is what everyone is waiting for. That's when we're seeing NVIDIA jump up to HBM2. We're going to be seeing 8 gigs of HBM, 16 gigs of HBM. That's what the fans want to see because at the moment, we've been stuck with GDDR5. We've been stuck with 28 nanometer processors. And we're kind of in this like gray area, this kind of awkward zone, this waiting zone. And we're just waiting for Pascal. So, of course, NVIDIA is dropping their prices. Now, keep in mind... Uh, they are also doing this so they can compete with AMD because pretty much guys, at least in the US, on at almost every price point except for maybe the 980 Ti, AMD just usually has a better offering than Nvidia. I mean, look, take a look at the fucking 960. The card is dumb because it's got the fucking 128-bit memory bus. It gets destroyed by the R9 380, which is pretty much at the same price. And um, the, the AMD just launched a 380X as well. So, yeah, I mean, the 960 itself, that car definitely needed the price drop because where it is, it's getting demolished. So, good thing NVIDIA did that. 980 Ti, of course, was good to drop the price. 649 to 589. 980 Ti is already a really good card. Uh, so, it's just good stuff. Good to see it cheaper. Um, and, yeah, it's, everything else has gone cheaper now. I mean, it's just typical stuff. I don't really need to say it again. But this is interesting. Now, look, guys, comment down below. Tell me if you plan on buying an NVIDIA card now, now that the prices have dropped a little bit. I don't know how it's going to, you know, roll over or, you know, flow down into, like, here back in Australia because the prices are already pretty high as is. I really doubt that the prices are even going to drop. I mean, you've still got fucking, like, 270Xs and shit for, like, 250 bucks or, like, 370s for, like, 220 It's ridiculous, man. So expensive. But, yeah, we can't really do much. And, yeah, so anyway, guys, look, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'm just keen for Pascal, man. This video, this video was nothing, dude. No one cares about fucking Maxwell, Kepler, and all that shit anymore. Everyone just wants Arctic Islands. And everyone wants Pascal. And I just can't wait for 2016 because that is going to be a huge year for the GPU scene. So thank you guys for watching. I really, really do hope you enjoyed. And, look, the big K, we'll see you later.